Hi, I'm Rami Abouj. I'm a medical doctor and human geneticist. I work at the Institute of Human Genetics in Erlangen. I met a family that has two children with intellectual disability, and they asked me if I can know the reason that would be of great advantage for them. It looked like autosomal recessive. I made mapping and sequencing, and I identified a very interesting candidate mutation in his dream. To functionally characterize it, I thought that I must find somebody who knows that, who can do this, and who's interested. was very lucky to find a group of Helen Morrison in Jena. Helen is working on this gene and she is an expert, so I think it's the time to give up to Helen. Hello, my name is Helen Morrison. I'm a biologist working at the Leibniz Institute for Age Research in Jena. Um, our lab studies Ezrin function in the nervous system. So for this particular study, I'd like to hand over to Lars, who is the first author, and he can very well explain the study. Hello, I'm Lars Lieben. I'm a PhD student at the Morrison Lab and first author of our study published in Human Mutation. In the study, we identified an inhibition of RAS activation due to a homozygous estrogen variant in patients with profound intellectual disability. We examined a family with one healthy daughter and two affected sons. The boys showed severe intellectual disability, a partial malformation of the brain and a developmental delay that was obvious as early as three months of age. Following exome sequencing, filtering and in silico prediction of pathogenicity, we identified a single variant located in EZR, the gene coding for the protein Ezrin. Ezrin is classically known for linking membrane proteins to the actin cytoskeleton, thereby organizing cell polarity in architecture. Membrane binding is mediated by the firm domain, which also contains the identified variant. However, using fluorescently labeled proteins, we did not detect any differences in membrane targeting or subcellular localization. In addition to Ezrin's linker function, we recently identified also a role in growth factor signaling, where estrin assists activation of the small GDPase RAS. RAS in turn is essential for many cellular processes, including proliferation and neuronal differentiation. The identified estrin variant is located within the firm subdomain F2. Modeling this variant into estrin's crystal structure suggested a disturbance of its local conformation. Modeling the variant into the related structure of CRIT1 further suggested that this variant may disturb an important binding surface used for small GTPase binding. We had previously reported that Aspin can directly bind RAS via its firm domain. Therefore, we investigated whether this binding of RAS is disturbed by the identified variant. Indeed, we found that RAS binding was strongly impaired both in complexes isolated from cellular lysates, as well as in direct binding assays using purified recombinant proteins. As a downstream consequence, the variant also inhibited growth factor-induced RAS activation and cellular proliferation. In summary, our data indicates that the identified estrin variant inhibits proper formation of a previously identified RAS activation complex. The variant precludes RAS from this complex, thus prevents its activation and inhibits RAS-dependent cellular processes. We suggest that this estrin variant constitutes a novel type of developmental RAS pathway disturbance that is characterized by reduced RAS activity. Classically, developmental RAS pathway disturbances are characterized by a hyperactivation of the pathway due to dominantly inherited variants. In contrast, our data indicates that the identified Esrin variant is the first recessively inherited variant that leads to reduced RAS pathway activity and therefore may represent a novel counterpart to the classic rhizopathies. We hope you enjoyed our video abstract. For further information, please refer to our publication at Human Mutation. And for further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.